Hey, Claude Pallon here, Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. This is the continuation of the SEO Moz Beginner's Guide to SEO video series. We're in the last uh, chapter of the PDF, Chapter 10. This is Part C. And this part here, they, they uh, give you a list of uh, analytics software. These, these are the tools you can use to do some analytics about uh, your site, who's visiting it, where they're coming from, what pages they're visiting, how many times they visit a page, all this kind of thing. And they give you a couple of lists here. On the left-hand side, uh, there's a bunch of these uh, tools. None of these have I ever used. So I really can't say much, but you can explore those. On the right-hand side, on the other hand, um, there's a bunch here that you can use. If you have a, a Yahoo account, you can use Yahoo Web Analytics, um, Google Analytics, Clicky Web Analytics, Piwik, Piwik Open Source Analytics, Woopra, AW Stats. So uh, these are all different analytical tools um, you can use. This is what uh, Google, Google Analytics looks like. If you have a, an AdWords account or if you don't, if, you can always set up a Google Analytics account and enter in, uh, this is a training site, but you can see here it gives you all sorts of data, visits, page views. Uh, there's a pie chart here that we talked about before that breaks it down between direct traffic, search engine traffic, referring sites. So this is one tool. I'm not going to go into the specifics because I've done that in other videos, but this another tool is Clicky. Clicky is a uh, real-time web analytics tool. That the, the, some of the criticism uh, that people have about Google is that this is delayed. This, the data here is not always real-time. It isn't. Here you have a, a real-time tool. You can register here for free for one site, and then uh, if you go beyond one site, the, it has a graduated a monthly payment that you pay. Woopra, this is another tool. Uh, it's free uh, for, uh, for one site and for non uh, a non-commercial site. If not, it has a graduated rate of payment, but that's another tool you can use. Uh, cPanel, now the AW stats, that's in there. You come down to your cPanel, you go into your, let me see here, logs, you go into, you click the AW stats, pick a site, and this is uh, in your this is now with your hosting account and you're going to get all sorts of data here uh, that you can look at that will uh, this is monthly history days of the month it shows you what the, the level of traffic is days of the week so you can determine the hours of the day uh, the country of origins that your data is coming from that your visitors are coming from the hosts that they're coming from robots that are ro you know visit duration file type etc pages they're visiting and so forth so that's another tool, AW Stats. Then there's Piwik. I've never used this tool, so I really don't know much about it. I can't help you on that one, uh, but that's another option. Then they also mentioned, um, if we take a look here, down a little further, there, you're going to see measuring metrics. You know, we've already talked about measuring metrics and the tools and the things you can use. You can go into Google and use the site attribute and that will give you all the backlinks uh, site colon and then the url the name of the site and you can get all the backlinks information you want about what's going into that site google trends uh, let's take a look at google trends google trends is another tool that you can use so if I go down here to Google Trends, here is Google Trends. You type in your keyword, it'll come back and give you uh, information about, well, let's type in uh, shoes. And here, you know, it'll give you the keyword, the trend of that keyword, the regions in which uh, that particular keyword is, is hot, uh, the cities, the languages. Key, uh, Google Trends is a very useful tool that uh, can come in really handy. There's another tool that they also recommend called Google Insights. Uh, same thing there. So you type in shoes and it'll give you information of the same thing. Geographic, uh, you can refine your tools here. I sometimes, I go to use it very, a lot of product. I, I generally get more specific. I try to limit it to 12 months. And you know you, you can refine your your search and get more information and data that refers to uh, a specific piece of geography with respect to that keyword tool. There's also a, a, a tool called 
Google uh, Trends for websites. This is different than Google Trends. Here you type in the website that you're interested in finding out about and it will give you specific information about where the traffic for that website is coming from, etc. And all, you know, uh, other websites that are related to it that were visited and uh, what was also searched for related to that website. So these are all the different kinds of tools that you can get to get metrics. Um, Google Trends, Google Trends for website, Google Insights, we saw that. In Yahoo, uh, you do the same thing. You use the site colon attribute and you can get all the backlinks uh, to that site. This is the standard site. Yahoo gives a lot more information than, Yahoo, than Google. So this is the attribute you want to use to find backlinks. Same holds true for link domains, uh, colon. Uh, Bing has the same kind of set setup. You, do, you use the site attribute and the site and it'll give you uh, information about backlinks. It's, and you can go through here and look at some of these other tools. Ask has a similar uh, system. Google has a, a link colon system. SEO Moz has a whole pile of tools. If you uh, subscribe to SEO Moz, then you have the ability to use a lot of these tools and get information that you need. There's a whole uh, family of tools. Then you've got to learn how to take that data, you know, and apply it to your, to your website and how to and make sense out of it and develop a plan. So that's what you want to do with, with respect to all of the, the data you get. And then depending on the kind of uh, trends that you see, you can take certain actions uh, and you can try to determine whether those trends mean you're, you're under a penalty or maybe you've accidentally made a mistake and you've blocked a search engine's crawler or maybe uh, they, the search engine has changed the algorithm and you have to adapt to it. These are all the kinds of scenarios that you're going to be able to read from getting your data. Um, you're going to, if you have a trending down, you want to compare data from the different search engines to see if there's something particular to one search engine as opposed to all of them. And then, uh, you know, individual ranking uh, fluctuations. There's a thing called Google Dance where, you know, when, when things change in the algorithm, you're going you're gonna, to you lose your ranking. You'll, you'll be all over the place. You just have to be patient and, and figure out whether you're in a Google Dance and, and you just have to wait that out and see how things uh, work out. Positive increases in link metrics, then, you know, you'll get the, the data will tell you whether you're doing things right and uh, what you can do, uh, what kind of tactics or strategies you can use to uh, improve, and that's it. And once you've gone through uh, all of that, that piece of information, you've come at the end of the SEO Moz guide, and, you, uh, and you're ready to apply it all. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. I hope it's been helpful. This is Claude Milano at Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk to you soon.